find the radius and interval of convergence for the power series we have x plus 2 which is same as x minus negative 2 so the center is negative 2 and we know a power series always converges for x equals a in this case x equals negative 2 for x equals negative 2 this series converges okay for all other axes for x not equal to the center we want to find the limit of a n plus 1 over a n when n goes to infinity okay and a n is what we have here everything that's a n okay let's evaluate this limit limit n goes to infinity of a n plus 1 is same thing but we replace n by n plus 1 so we get x plus 2 raised to n plus 1 over 4 raised to n plus 1 divided by a n which is same as multiply by reciprocal of a n okay multiply by reciprocal of a n so 4 n on the top over x plus 2 to the n okay let's continue simplifying inside uh, x plus 2 n plus 1 we have x plus 2 n so let's write this as a product which is x plus 2 raised to n times x plus 2 raised to 1 okay n plus 1 means n and 1 over same thing here 4 raised to n plus 1 is 4 raised to n times 4 raised to 1 times 4n over x plus 2 raised to n now we can cancel this from top and bottom also 4n 4n then we are left with x plus 2 and 4 x plus 2 is independent of n so we can pull all the way outside absolute value of x plus 2 and also 4 is also independent of n we can pull all the way outside over 4 and there is nothing left so limit of we have nothing left means 1 okay times 1 and don't have to write times 1 so this is the limit of this ratio and we know from the ratio test when the limit of a n plus 1 over a n this limit is less than 1 then the series converges okay this for the series to converge okay and we also know if this limit is bigger than 1 then the series diverges okay so x plus 2 over 4 less than 1 is same as x plus 2 less than 4 okay the same as this you cannot subtract 2 from here by the way okay x plus 2 less than 4 and this 4 is now radius of convergence and if we look at the interval negative 2 is the center that's what we figured out somewhere here negative 2 now 4 is the radius of convergence so you can go up to 4 to the right 1 2 3 4 so negative 2 plus 4 is 2 negative 4 and 2 to the left 4 to the left because 4 is the radius so it will be negative 6 okay now we found the radius of convergence that's 4 okay and the for the interval of convergence uh, we need to check what happens when x equals negative 6 and what happens when x equals 2 okay so for x equals negative 6 we go back and check the power series the power series or the, just the series the series is equal to we are replacing x by negative 6 let me go negative 6 so negative 6 plus 2 negative 4 to the n over 4n so this the series becomes negative 4 to the n over 4n n from 0 through infinity negative 4 to the n do not cancel anything yet because negative 4 is same as negative 1 times 4 so this can be rewritten as negative 4 is negative 1 times 4 so negative 1 to the n and 4 to the n on the bottom 4 to the n 
and now we have cancellation okay then we have now a negative 1 to the n and n goes from 0 through infinity okay now look at this series this series is in fact when we plug in 0 we get negative 1 to the 0 which is positive 1 so we get positive 1 negative 1 positive 1 negative 1 positive 1 negative 1 okay the nth term never goes to 0 okay we don't know what is the sum because the terms are positive 1 negative 1 positive 1 negative 1 that means this series diverges which diverges because the limit of negative 1 to the n when n goes to infinity is undefined we don't know whether it's a positive 1 or negative 1 which diverges okay you can see I don't have to write but negative 1 to the n when n goes to infinity that's does not exist the limit does not exist and we know from the uh, test for divergence if this limit is other than 0 it diverges so negative 6 is not in the interval of convergence okay so we have here now uh, parenthesis not the bracket now do the same thing when x equals 2 okay when x equals 2 the series our power series becomes that equals to n from 0 through infinity what is the series by the way let me go back when x equals 2 we have 2 plus 2 4 to the n over 4 to the n so we get 4 to the n over 4 to the n and same thing on top and bottom cancel just 1 and we have n from 0 through infinity of 1 okay 1 means how many of them infinitely many 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so the sum is infinity that means this diverges by the way if we take the limit of 1 if we take the limit of 1 when n goes to infinity still 1 which is not equal to 0 then for the test for divergence this is diverges which diverges okay you can think in this way 1 plus 1 plus 1 infinitely many so the sum is infinity the sum is infinity means this diverges so in this uh, interval of convergence 2 is not included so the interval of convergence is negative 6 to 2 but the endpoints are not included okay thus the interval of convergence is negative 6 to 2 final